Cuban amateur boxing school. And it feels like he can fight at short range, that he's comfortable at mid range, that he really has a lot of different layers to his game. You know, typically you will see a right hander go to his left, especially against the southpaw, but you see where Murray's going. He's going to his right. And you some would say, why is he going to his right? Well, there's a good example, well, Jimmy, right to there into right the path of the left hand. <laughs> yes, Tess, but he's looking to battle the left hand. Come That's back, the point back. I'm making. That's what he wants. He wants him to throw the left hand so that way he can step to the side and land his right hand. So a risk reward tactic for Danny Murray. You see, you, you see right there, Tess? He was off the mark with the right hand, but he, he's looking for it. Rodriguez is a good young prospect who is very mindful of the perception of Dominican fighters. He said, people say that we don't have chance and we don't have discipline. And I want to do my part to change that perception. And Danny Murray is five wins, three losses, no KO. So on paper, he's not supposed to give Rodriguez any trouble. But we also had Clay Collard just beat David Kaminsky. So paper only tells part of the story. That was your shocking upset of the month. You know, when it's a lot of not when it's not a lot of action, you know, in the beginning of these fights, you know, you could set traps. This is the time you can set traps, you being a fighter. You can you know, you can slowly drop oh wow, was that he a shot? Through the ropes with that knockdown. Five. It's over. My goodness. Okay, okay. It's it is lot, over. It's a lot. Danny Murray it's all good. It's all good. blasted. It's all good. It's all good.